What's going on, guys? It's Omni Ark, and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where I'm going to be giving you my guide to Saladin in Rise of Kingdoms. All you ever hear these days is Attila Takeda. Attila Takeda. I don't think Saladin gets the love he deserves, man. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Let's talk about it. But first, over 75% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel, so that's a little bit better than it was a couple of weeks ago. But if you guys want me to be able to eat this month, I do suggest that you like, you subscribe, you click that bell, and I promise I'll give you a little pat on the head if I ever meet you in real life. Also, if you don't have the time to watch this entire video, but you want to learn more about Salad, and I do have a written guide over on riseofkingdoms.org. You can see the talent builds and the tier list and everything like that for all the commanders, legendary tier. Okay, Saladin is a mightiest governor event legendary legendary cavalry commander in rise of kingdoms you can also scale him up with your universal commander sculptures you can also get him from the card king event if you weren't able to summon him back when he was on your mightiest governor rotation although he will that will be changing soon soon all the mightiest governors are going to be uh pick your commander so that's really interesting keep in mind though that's only going to happen after kvk season three apparently so you'll still probably want to try to maybe summon him when he first comes around who knows anyway saladin is a cavalry conquering support commander and just like all the other episodes of this legendary tier list series we're going to be going over his skills so we have a little bit more information as to what exactly saladin is doing so his primary skill he's going to be dealing a 1400 single target damage factor he also will reduce their march speed by 30 percent their healing effect by 40 percent for five seconds so really powerful debuff there against uh healing commanders such as richard now richard still kind of counters saladin because richard is you know infantry which counters cavalry but regardless decent single target damage factor decent debuff and you really can slow down an enemy and catch them in the open field with this super nice his second skill gives you 40 percent of battle stats you get 20 percent cavalry defense 20 percent cavalry attack and you also get five percent march speed which is really really cool in the open field his third skill is going to reduce the skill damage that you take by 30 percent as well as the counter attack damage you take by 20 percent and this skill is going to make saladin one of the most tanky cavalry legendaries in the entire game his fourth skill gives you a 15 percent damage bonus when you're attacking another player's city which is insane but you can't plunder resources from that attack honestly that's a completely fair trade-off in my opinion saladin's expertise buffs his active skill it brings the damage from 1400 to 1700 you also reduce the march speed by up to 50 percent and the healing effect reduction up to 50 percent as well so it's a slight buff in the damage slight buff in that debuff uh overall though saladin is considered fit considered finished when he's five 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 one and that's because again this last skill if you're not going to hit a city with him which you're probably not going to then you don't actually need this whatsoever and so is 310 legendary sculptures worth 300 damage factor and a slight buff in that debuffing effect i honestly don't think so right and so most players will actually get maximum effectiveness out of saladin or i would say 95 percent of his effectiveness will come from the first three skills being maxed and then bringing him to level 60. speaking of level 60 let's talk about some talent builds so this is the build i would use for open field fighting and for your canyon team being a support commander saladin does have that aoe slowdown ability here at the end of the support tree we only put one talent in there because it will help out your ethel fled if you see ethel fleds in the open field or in your can in canyon team uh ethel fled's just going to deal more damage to those slow targets which is a really nice uh, synergy pair there which is great we do come get uh, burning blood on dying fury we get that rage regeneration there which is nice of course the rage regeneration from rejuvenate in the support tree is really really powerful which is amazing and we go over here and get buckling uh buckler shield which is also going to give you some reduction in counter attack damage that you take so overall this is honestly probably the best build for open field fighting in my opinion but we also have a build here for rallying so this essentially what we do is we sacrifice that aoe slowdown and everything over here on the bottom of the support tree and we come all the way up here to entrenched and entrenched is just 
absolutely crazy good when you are leading rallies with any commander with the conquering tree so it's a must have with the talent builds out of the way let's start to see how saladin performs in each of the categories so the first category is open field fighting and saladin being super tanky for a cavalry march also bringing a ton of battle stats here and also being really supportive with the support tree as well as that rage regeneration and you have the healing effect reduction saladin is excellent in the open field even at 5551 he's pretty much finished and he's crazy crazy good and for that reason saladin is an s tier legendary commander in the open field no question you can basically have a saladin primary and whoever cavalry secondary and it's going to be decently tanky it's still going to deal that single target damage factor that you really really want plus the rejuvenate and the cavalry tree it's just there's a lot to love about saladin and you really don't have to expertise him to, to get all of that great value which is awesome the next two categories are rallying objectives and rallying cities and saladin with the conquer tree and the cavalry tree Saladin actually performs this role very very well he actually does really great here his talent setup is just super super good with again with that rejuvenate getting 150 rage every time you use a skill plus you have loose formation and you're taking the skill reducing the skill damage that you take Plus, you come over here with Buckler Shield, and you have Moment of Triumph, which is nice right at the beginning there. Plus, Entrenched, he's just, he's really good for rallying, right? And I mentioned at the beginning of this video that, you know, people always talk about Attila Takeda, which is true. Attila Takeda is definitely a better rally combo than Saladin. But in the early game, or or even if you're just doing a one-off city rally, right? Just a one-off, you know, it's three in the morning, not that many players are online, but, you know, you see an enemy's bubble disappeared, and you just want to hit him with a quick rally, like... Saladin is your guy, man. He's going to deal an extra 15% damage to those garrisons, uh, the city garrisons, which is crazy, crazy good. Overall, leading rallies with Saladin is a decent choice, right? There are better options, of course, like we talked about. We have Attila Takeda, we have Nebuchadnezzar, we have Herald, right? There are some better options for leading these rallies, but overall, for objective rallies and for uh, city rallies saladin gets an a in both of those categories on the flip side we have defending objectives and defending cities and saladin is terrible at this do not don't do it man just don't do it saladin has absolutely no synergy for garrisons he only buffs cavalry there's just there's not even a build that you could put on him to make him good at defending because he has the conquering and support it's just a terrible idea don't defend with saladin he's tanky in the open field i get that but when you put him in the garrison now he's buffing like especially your city he's only buffing cavalry it's just don't do it guys he doesn't have the talent builds for it uh he's just not well equipped he doesn't do aoe there's just there's no reason to use saladin for a defensive situation so for both of those categories he gets a d next we're going to talk about kenyan performance and saladin performs really well here as you would expect he performs really really well in the open field the only difference is that in the open field saladin will usually be avoided most players will go for the minamotos the tau taus they're going to go for some of the weaker units out in the field and only when those weaker units are cleared right the ethel fleds all the purples then they're probably going to hit the saladin before they hit the richards and the martels so you know he's not he's not as tanky as some of those infantry marches but he's pretty tanky so he gets that extra benefit of you know he's probably going to be left alone for a decent amount of the time but in canyon he's not going to get that benefit right so he doesn't perform as well in canyon as he does in the open field and the way that he could have redeemed himself is by having aoe but he doesn't have that either right so he's not as good in canyon as he is in open fields in my opinion they're very close right like they're, they're neck and neck i just think for open field fighting he, he outperforms slightly in his than his canyon performance but he's still he's still and I, I say all that but he's actually still really good in your canyon right and that's because of the support tree he performs that aoe slowdown so ethel fled can just completely chunk people with her uh half half circle shaped aoe especially if she has you know e song behind her it's just a great synergy great combo right but overall um he gets an a for this canyon category again super good in canyon slightly better in the open fields but honestly 
for again for the investment of 5551 he's he's a great investment and finally we have barbs and forts this is the pve content category and celadin performs well here right he does have that single target damage factor he does have a lot of stats there's a lot to love about his rage generation but you know really the best thing that he has going for him is that he's just so good in the open field that that translates well to his pve performance and he is a cavalry commander so he's going to be moving around killing those barbs a lot faster than you know any other troop type most likely but he doesn't deal extra damage to those neutral units he doesn't give you extra experience he doesn't have the peacekeeping key uh tree so he he's not perfect for this role and so i'm going to give him a b for the pve category again he's he's just powerful that's why he's good in this in this category there's nothing in particular that sets him above the the rest of the pack so with all those categories considered and ranking saladin amongst his peers amongst the other legendaries in the game where does he fall as an investment right well on my tier list as an investment in your legendary commander entourage <laughs> Saladin is an A tier investment in my opinion. I think it's pretty straightforward, right? He's very powerful and you don't have to put as many sculptures into him as you would a commander such as Genghis Khan, right? Genghis Khan is also a legendary. He's also cavalry, but you really need him to have that expertise in order for him to do what he does best. Saladin is not the case, right? He's not the case. You get uh, arguably a better commander for less sculptures. And so again, he is an A tier legendary in my opinion just slightly outclassed by other other commanders like Esong and alexander and artemnesia there's just, just some legendaries that are slightly better than saladin so he's not s tier but he's a, he's a solid a and again it's fewer sculptures so it, it's a good investment with that being said guys if you enjoyed this video if you found it educational informative or anything like that make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out the video and the channel a ton subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff is in the description below as always and finally there's a link in the description to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your mac it's my favorite way to play the game i think the game looks absolutely gorgeous on a big screen it's a huge quality of life improvement and it's gonna really help you when you're doing those crazy big open field fights like i said it's totally for free you might as well click the link and just give it a try with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni i will talk to you guys again soon peace